What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and with the release of iOS 9.3, I've been attacked by a barrage of questions and comments. Where is the iOS 9 jailbreak? Does the 9.3 release mean we won't be getting one? What is going on? So I thought I'd make a little update to uh, tell you guys what I know, uh, what we all know about the iOS 9, uh, current state of the jailbreak on 9.3, 9.2.1, or 9.2. So where will we see it basically? What is going on? This is a time of confusion, especially when new uh, firmwares get released, they muddle with plans and it really sucks. As much as it is nice to see new features, it really pushes back jailbreaks most of the times or uh, you know, indefinitely delays them. So first thing I wanted to mention is the iOS 9.3 release. Yesterday we saw it, it's actually a fantastic firmware. I love the inclusion of f.lux. So this was something you could sideload before on a non-jailbroken device, but now it's here natively on iOS 9 and you know it uses geolocation data time uh, to adjust the color temperature of your display. Really awesome stuff, except how will this affect the jailbreak? So I'll tell you what I know, guys. I'm sorry that I can't share more, but I want to at least put your minds to rest. So iOS 9.3 has already been jailbroken. Luca Tedesco, the guy that jailbroke 9.2.1 and uh, posted evidence with a screenshot, actually posted the video of him running his same exploited code on 9.3. Basically, he has uh, the kernel exploit and he's got tweaks running. He proves it's on 9.3 with those new features. And uh, overall, I'm very convinced. You know, I don't doubt the legitimacy of uh, his exploit. It is not a fail break. It is actually the real deal running on his device. And he proves it in multiple ways that 9.3 it is being run on 9.3. So uh, who is this guy again? Real quick, 18 year old student uh, responsible for collaborating with other jailbreakers on the iOS 9 release. He did produce an 8.4.1 semi-released jailbreak. So he's got quite a bit of history. So he's actually showing us the jailbreak on iOS 9.3. The only thing is we're never gonna see it. Well, in the video he actually said seven years till the release date. So uh, seven years, cool. Other than that, uh, it's, just a, it's just a little bit of hope for other jailbreak teams. iOS 9.3 has been jailbroken, 9.2.1, so why can't the other jailbreak teams do it as well? If you guys want to check out this video, I'll put it down below in the description. It's good stuff, really. Uh, I just wish you would release it. So why won't this guy release the jailbreak to us? I would love to see it. I would love to have it on the newest firmware. Uh, the only thing is... His exploit is worth a lot of money. On the newest firmware, if it's compatible when it's released, it'll be really, really worth a lot of money. Zero day exploits can pitch up to a million dollars as we've seen with Zerodium, but you know this will be much, much lower because it's not over the Safari browser. Now, I don't know if it's a joke or not, but he actually set up a video with donations. So you send him a donation of like $2 and he'll put you in a drawing to win a jailbreak on 9.3. But aside from his jailbreak accomplishments, what can we expect as for the actual iOS 9.2, 9.2.1, or 9.3 jailbreak? What firmware will it be on? So the Taiji jailbreak team, which is working on a jailbreak, been confirmed and confirmed again, they have said that they were working on a 9.2 jailbreak. So until they tell us anything else, stay on 9.2. Do not go to 9.2.1 when it releases, and that'll be any day now. So 9.2.1, we're already on the second beta. We should be seeing the final release any day now. When it drops, do not update. Luca Tedesco actually did say that iOS 9.2.1 was more difficult to jailbreak. Basically said it's significantly more hardened and uh, some code speak that I don't really understand. But basically, I just want to tell you guys, don't go to 9.2.1, don't go to 9.3, uh, unless you have the intention of downgrading back to 9.2. So uh, stay on 9.2. Taiji jailbreak team has made it clear they're working on a jailbreak for that version. So that's where we are going to stay. Now, what everybody's thinking is iOS 9.2.1, once it drops, that's when Taiji is going to make their decision. It's very likely they could have made some progress with the jailbreak. They could have it even running on 9.2. They just wish not to share it. Who knows? It's all speculation. But the point is, they're waiting for 9.2.1 to drop. 
They're gonna see what they can do. If it'll be easier to jailbreak on 9.2 or 9.2.1 if it's possible, who knows? But hopefully they'll let us know with an update just as soon as it drops and I can share something with you guys. But it, to me, it, you know, it sucks because I can't share a lot with you, but I have so many people asking me and I, you know, I'm at a, I don't know what to do really. So I just make these little update videos to help you guys stay calm. I know how hard it can be waiting for these and hopefully we won't have much more. It's about four months now that we've been without a jailbreak since 9.0.2. In the past, uh, there have been seven, eight months on average wait time. So we're about halfway there to the average. Stay strong, guys. We'll see you once soon. I'll be updating you on any news in between. And thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Peace.